Y'all want to hear another story? Well, I got one for you. like a day like today, you know, except, uh, I ran out of cash pretty early, so, uh, I had to figure out a way to keep on drinking, because, uh, well, I like to drink, so I'm going around, and I come up with this great idea, wait a second, there's bottles everywhere on the ground, why don't I just drink from those, you know, so I'm, I'm going around, the first one I find is a freaking locker. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. A little sour, but it's all right. You know, yum. Yeah. Then I go and I find a light. Hell, I found a pale ale. And I even found a, some imports. Who knows you would find a freaking import in the middle of a the middle of a city in the fucking slums from Europe. What the fuck? An import? But anyways, I kept on. I kept on walking, right? Ugh. Ugh. God damn, I'm, I'm drunk. God damn. Ugh. I kept on walking, right? Now come across this one. Come across this one bottle. That's like, what the hell? I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm past it. I'm almost at blackout, so I figured if I take this one, I'll be in. I'll be knocked out, you know. Someone can come by and let me take my shit again or whatever. I find it. I come over and I grab it and I start drinking from it. I'm like, what is this? Some weird ass import from Asia Town or some shit? so bitter and sour. I'm like, fuck it, you know. So I just keep drinking and drinking and drinking. And finally, I'm pretty much at the end of the bottle. When the taste, it starts to hit me. Because I've tasted it before. Several times, in fact. It was piss. It was freaking piss, dude. Freaking piss. Bleh. Oh God! Oh. I had to go eat grass for two hours just to get the taste out of my mouth. Oh. Oh God. Confessions of, of a drug dealer.